Priests, serving overseer of the Citadel Global Community Church, Tunde Bakari, has donated a 6 kVA hybrid solar inverter to his alma mater, the Faculty of Law of the University of Lagos. Pastor Bakari has announced an endowment fund for the two highest performing graduate students of the faculty. He made this contribution in his alma mater in celebration of his 70th birthday. Details in this report. Pastor Tunde Bakari pursued a legal education at the University of Lagos and subsequently practiced law before founding his own law firm. He eventually transitioned from his legal profession to embrace a calling in pastoral ministry. He reflected on the journey so far. And I distributed papers saying the federal government possessed power without compassion, might, without morality, strength, without sight. And I was distributing it around doing that was the day SSS opened file that this fellow is going somewhere. <laughs> I wish I'd known. Look at all that University of Lagos did for me. I went through this university and it went through me. And I'm very proud to be a great Akokite. Please, please, please. Uh, the second thing. During the event titled, Let There Be Light, Bakari urged attendees to recognize the significance of contributing to the society as he made the donation. Let us learn to give back to the society that produced us. I've done so in my hometown. I've done so in my primary school. I've done so in my secondary school. What a great opportunity to do it in my university. And now, I told them in the church, I've served God, I've served man, I've served the church, it's time to fix Nigeria. The Dean of the Faculty of Law, Professor Abiola Sani, expressed concern that the faculty has been significantly affected by power supply issues for several months. He characterized the donations as a means to motivate Bakari's contemporaries and other alumni to enhance the support for the faculty. The immediate past dean, Professor Oyelowo Oyewo, used the event to criticize the government's complacency and inefficiency. When I became the dean of law on the 1st of August 2024, we, and I mean we, as a faculty board, resolved that we were going to set the faculty on a path of irreversible sustainable development. In Texas University, owned by the state of Texas, only 7% of their revenue is contributed by the state of Texas. So where do they get the remaining 93%? From the alumni of the University of Texas. 93% every year. And now all of this money that we are running after we are acquiring what happens to it when we are gone. Bakari, who initially intended to retire from church service upon reaching 70, shared that he was inspired to continue by Chief Afer Babalola, who at 95 years recounted how he conceived the idea of establishing Afer Babalola University at the age of 82. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.